Hey there, to those of you interested in hearing this report, um, I just want to let you know that I'm a relative of someone inside the investigation into um, the quadruple homicide in Idaho. Um, and I will say what I'm about to tell you is secondhand, but it is from what I believe to be a very reliable source. Again, this can only be considered a rumor as I don't have firsthand knowledge. I never planned on posting any of this information out of respect for the victim's families. Well, hello there. So what you've just listened to is a segment of a recording. The link to that full video, which is from over on Jays for Justice, is in the description of the video. So if you haven't heard the whole video, because I'm not going to play it all, because for those of you who have already heard it, you don't need to. And for those who haven't, I don't deserve the credit for it. This is something that was sent to me, so check it out, and please talk about it. So I decided that I will do a video because you guys have asked me to do one and let you know what I think. I think, first of all, we have to... And what I will say is, look, I did a video earlier today. If you haven't seen it, if you think this is the first one, this is the first notification you've got, this is video number two. Video number one from earlier touches on the fact that, look, this guy is seemingly eager to get himself exonerated he's made some statements that would seem that he is looking to fight this to the very end and um, we go a little bit more in depth in that but for now we're talking about this recording and i think that for me i'm not 100 percent sure that it's him i'm going to put that out there first of all there are elements to it that it it looks like it could be but you know, there's nothing really that says beyond reasonable doubt that it could be someone else. So let's put that out there. I've not heard Koberger talk. There's no voice comparison to compare. All I've got is a reflection in a screen that you can try and overlay and you can't overlay anything against it enough to say, you know what, that's him. And anyone who says otherwise you're you you you're not you, you can't you know you can make things fit if you want them to but i've got some of the best software for overlaying stuff and and i can't do it i can't i can't put his face there and make it you know to say 100 percent him anyway i digress i'm getting a little bit off topic there but could it be him yes it could could be him and perhaps when you think that he is now looking to seemingly fight this, there's an arrogance about him. Now, it kind of go hand in hand. What I will say is, if he is clever, if he is smart, and this was kind of his plan all along, then I don't think that would have been him, because that could be the thing that trips him up. If they can get hold of... You know, we know we've heard that they were taking computers and you know laptops or desktop computers out of that property of his on the on the campus over there. So you know, if they can prove that it was indeed him that was behind the TikTok accounts that was doing that recording, then you know that's another nail in his coffin, so to speak. And I wonder whether, as much as he is smart, he is fucking stupid because that would have been very very stupid but if it wasn't him then i'd like to hear this person come forward to say look <laughs> look i see there's a lot of speculation to say that you know this is brian Koberger and it is in fact me but i just fear that the person who was behind it if it wasn't Koberger, would be afraid to come forward because of the information that he gave and it might then point in the direction of someone that shouldn't have given him that information because unless that was complete and utter speculation and, and guesswork, then it did seem to be quite, how can I say, insider information, something that only law enforcement, the people who dealt with the scene itself and would have the information about that scene would have known. You know, when you're talking about how these victims, and I'm trying to you know, not put stuff out there so it becomes a trigger warning. But the intricate details that he goes into in that video, there's only certain people would have had that information if it is indeed accurate. 
But like I say, if it was him, then it show it's kind it's for us it could be a good thing because if it was him, then it shows that he's not as smart as he thinks he is. He's just going down the same route as people that we've seen in the past, like Ian Huntley, where they have to be front and centre. They have to, as if they're riding the blade, so to speak, and, you know, they get a kick and a thrill out of that. And if he's here just for a thrill and, you know, he is doing the Ian Huntley thing, then he's going to come unstuck, just like Ian Huntley did and the many others that we've seen before. But if it wasn't him, I kind of hope it was. Because if it wasn't him, and with the information that we talk about in the video earlier today, he poses a genuine threat to justice. Because, like I said, he knows what they need, and if he knows they haven't got it, then he's one step ahead already. And, you know, who knows? He could have just watched one too many crime program, and he thinks he's above the law. I just hope he's stupid. We're at that stage at the moment where you're kind of gauging what it is. And this video, I do feel, holds a bit of a key. But there's just a not there's not enough in it for me to make a decision on whether it is 100% him or not. And I do apologise. I can't be any more frank than that. You know, it's, it's, it could be. It might be. It might not be. And it doesn't really help. It doesn't help me. doesn't help you. kind of makes this video a little bit... Oh, thanks, Ars. We thought you was going to come along and tell us all. But there's there's nothing there that, that proves one way or another. But I will say, once again, I hope it is, because if it was him, that could indeed be the thing that trips him up. Time will tell. But I think we've got some things that are going to come out. There's going to be some things that happen. This case is a long way from over. And... um. You know what they say, this ain't checkers, this is chess. I'll catch you all in the next one.